So you're thinking about making a move to Southern Utah? Well, in this video, we're actually going to take you around one of the most popular cities in Southern Utah, which is St. George. And we're going to show you exactly how far apart everything is, how far you have to drive, what there is to do, and some of the different neighborhoods. So we're gonna get after it right now. So if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Southern Utah, make sure you subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know everything there is to know about the current market in Southern Utah. I'm Lacey with ERA and we get calls and emails, texts from people just like you every day looking to make a move to Southern Utah and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. You can actually set up a Zoom so that we can meet in person. All of the information is in the description below and we'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Southern Utah. So today we are going to go around St. George, Utah, which is one of the most popular cities in Southern Utah. And look at all of the things there is to do along with a couple neighborhoods. So let's jump into my computer right now. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you, here we are in Utah right here. St. George is in the very corner. So it is in the very corner, it's super warm. It's super close to, let's see if I can get my little pen out here. It's super close to Las Vegas. So, okay, so this is Utah. St. George is in the very corner, super close to Las Vegas. So if you drive about an hour and a half from Las Vegas, hour and 40 minutes, you hit St. George. So also, if you're trying to do any big shopping, if you're trying to do um, any big event, or you just wanted a fun weekend out, it's about an hour and a half away just to go to Las Vegas, so that is awesome. Um, some of the cool things right around St. George to do, you're about 10 minutes from Red Cliffs, so that's awesome. Also, you can go, they have so many hikes and views and just different things to do. Um, you're about a half hour from Zion. There's also Gunlock, so Gunlock's right here close to St. George. So there, Zion's right up here. It's about 40 minutes from St. George. So you're really not far from so many different national parks that you could go see if you like to do hiking or if you wanted to go do a picnic or anything like that. It's super close. So when you're coming down I-15 and you hit St. George, one of the first things, there's some newer neighborhoods just right off the freeway. So there's a lot of open lots still available in these neighborhoods and then there's a lot of new build. So as you come down the freeway, that's kind of what you're gonna see when you first get there. The good thing about St. George is even if you aren't in the middle of town, there's strip malls with places to eat, gas stations and stores all throughout St. George. So you're close to stuff no matter where you choose. So one of the first things you're gonna to get to is this Big Shots Golf. It's right off the freeway. So you go up on the roof and it's a driving range and it has electronic balls that kind of tracks, tracks how far it goes, tracks your hit, and it's a competition. So it has big screens and you compete against everyone you go with. It has music going, food, drink. It's a super fun place to go. So that's right off the freeway when you come into St. George this way. And then you go a little bit farther this way, Bloomington, there's Bloomington Country Club. Bloomington is one of the more established places. I want to show you some of these street views just so you can see what that looks like. Um, maybe a little bit older homes, but super nice, super nice neighborhoods. So you can see what's going on here. So super nice houses and everyone takes really good care of their neighborhood. So you go a little bit farther down I-15 and kind of zoom in here a little bit more. So there's actually 12 golf courses when you go to St. George. So there's one no matter where you're at in St. George. There's a golf course nearby. Um, there's also a lot of parks. There's water parks and there's regular parks everywhere. So lots of grass and lots of places to take the family. If you are a family living in St. George, 
One of the really cool things they have here is Thunder Junction All Abilities Park. It has a little train. It has things for kids to climb on and just fun stuff for kids to do. So that's a really fun place to go. There's so much stuff you can hit in St. George. Fiesta Fun Family Center. It has an arcade. It has bumper boats, go-karts, miniature golf, bowling. So you can actually buy an unlimited day pass and go in here and it has so much fun for everybody to do so and it has food and everything there so that's a really fun place to go also and there are hiking trails and just different things to see everywhere you go in St. George so that's and there are neighborhoods throughout all of this so just depending on what you wanted to maybe I'll show you some of these houses just so you can see kind of what it looks like super pretty these are some of the older homes in the older areas of St. George, but they're kind of closer to everything. So if you wanted, if you don't mind an older house, then you can be super close to all of the main things in St. George. And then we have Red Cliffs Mall and it has things like Lululemon, um, H&M, different stuff like that, but it, it doesn't have anything huge so it has packed sun jc penny all the basics but like i said if you want to do some major shopping you're probably going to want to go about an hour and a half out of town to to las vegas um some other stuff that you, you could go do they have the saint george dinosaur discovery site so that just has a lot of different things that the kids can climb at dinosaur things that they can it's a park so you can go inside or outside it has things for them to look at dinosaurs things for them to climb on outside places for them to go so another cool family thing to do um, another cool thing about st george is it has a four-year college right in the middle of town so it used to be called dixie state college and now it is see if I can get my zoom going Utah Tech University so this is right in the middle of town and it's a four-year college so it has the pool has the college has beautiful grounds so that's awesome right in the center of town there are tons of restaurants in St. George so it has all the basics like steakhouses and all of your regular restaurants but then it also has a lot of mom and pops places to eat so no matter what you're into, you're gonna find something. You're gonna find somewhere that you wanna eat. Um, let's see, and there are just neighborhoods throughout this whole thing. So whether you wanna be close to the middle of town or whether you wanted to go a little far out and have something newer, everything is close to a school, close to food, close to gas stations. And no matter what, you're not too far out from the mall, from the college, from everything like that. So there's so much to do in St. George, but there's also just so many cool walking trails. So they have this little turtle wall hiking trail, super close. And if you live right over here, I'm gonna just show you some of the neighborhoods. These houses are a little bit newer. Um, you're just so close to everything when you live in St. George. So the weather is so nice. It is usually in the 70s and 80s. In the summer months, it gets pretty hot and you get in the 90s to 100s. So you wanna find a pool or air conditioning or if you just like the weather, that works too. In the very winter months, it's about 50s and 60s. So it's really not extreme no matter where. And then, the rest of the year you have 70s and 80s so the weather's just gorgeous most of the time and i think that's a lot it's a very popular retirement community and i think that's because of the consistent weather and the e the ease of getting to be outside so i think that's part of what really makes it attractive to people that are wanting to retire and i just wanted to check and make sure so there's so many places to go in saint george and there's a lot of different stores. So you have Harmon's, Best Buy, um, 
Target and Lowe's and Home Depot, just so many different shopping options that way. So you're gonna be able to find a lot of what you need right here in St. George. There's also a Costco and just some different options that way. The cost of living in St. George is about 2% lower than the national average. So although you may think you have to pay a lot to live here, it's actually lower than the national average. So very affordable and so close to so many things to do. So it is great for family life. It is great for younger people. It's also great to retire because you're just so close to everything and the weather's so consistent. So that makes it really appealing. The average population of St. George is about 100,000, so we're getting up there. There has been a lot of people moving to St. George, but it's not huge. So it's still, you still get the hometown feel and people are just really friendly and kind in St. George, which is nice. I just want to make sure there's nothing else I wanted to show you guys, but so I think that pretty much wraps it up. Well, that wraps up today's video, but just remember if you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, get in touch with us because we'd love to help you make a smooth move to Southern Utah. And until then, I hope to see you around town.